Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and in this video here, you can see Isaiah and I just talking through. We are often using MySQL to connect to in AutoHotKey, so we connect to a MySQL database. And finding the connection string when you set up a new computer, getting that the actual path kind of thing for the connection string is a little tricky. So we were making this video for ourselves, but I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I just a little make a little intro here, and then we can make it available that way. If you happen to be doing something with MySQL, you can see how to set up that uh, SQL path for your computer. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, please like the video. I'd love it. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, so when we're, when we're trying to do MySQL stuff. Yeah, so again, uh, we are trying to kind of like summarize how to make sure that you have the connectors for it. And if you search on Google for MySQL connectors, you should arrive to this page where it gives you different connectors for it. We have been working with the ODBC connector. Uh, so we're going to download that. We do have a direct link. We can actually give you a link for that directly there. It takes you here. Now, there's one little detail that you have to keep in mind. This this is a recommended download, but this whole thing, which is big and, you know, that's what they want you to download, is actually the MySQL installer, like the whole thing. And that's not what we need. We only need the connector. So the download that you're going to look for is below. Is where it says other downloads and that's the misleading part because i would say like i got right. it, download it i have right. to download it but that's not it it's actually the one that says other downloads that's not uh so yeah i was a little bit confused about that but that's where we go ahead and download this it's going to ask you if you want to log in or sign up no no thanks just start my download and you should get this mysql connector odbc thing that is the one that we're going to be installing for that. and i remember when we talked about this before, it was an interesting thing is regardless, you know, you probably want to get both the 32 bit and 64 bit because you don't, it's for the program you're using to connect with. Is that right? I think. Yes. So. It depends on the program. So if the program is running 32 bit, you want to actually install the 32 bit uh, connector. Um, so at this point, this script is actually running uh, the 32 bit version. So what if I go ahead and click on it, this is what the error that we're trying to fix looks like. And it says like, you know, this provider is, is not found and no default driver was specified. So that's the error that you might get. And can you um, show the, uh, the SQL ODBC connector settings for your, you know, where we actually see them kind of listed on the computer? Yes. Um, the only thing is that I don't remember the name of the, the thing. Just um, search for, um, ODBC. Yeah. Uh huh. Here we go. Yeah. So you have the 32 bit, the 64 bit. So let's go on the 32 bit. It says, let me stop this. And this is where you would go ahead and take a look at whether it is installed or not, especially here on the section that says drivers. Um, after we install it, a new driver should show up in here, which is what we're looking for. And there was a way to double check on it, which was the file. D, DSN, add, and then you select the one that you want to add, for example, this one, and click on advanced, which would give you what the uh, driver configuration would look like in your program. So we just copy that and paste it in the program, if it is not there. But let's go ahead and install it and see if that fixes the error. Yeah, because that's kind of the path, right? The way it connects yeah. to, yeah. Right. So let me go ahead and install it. Let's double check. I'm just going to do the complete here. Ah, uh, no, hold on. Let me change that because I usually install things on my D drive. So we do the connector. We're good. Install. We're going to finish that up. And now if we do the ODBC thingy, I should get some information regarding the last one that we just installed, which should be that one from Oracle, right? Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and double check something. So system, user, I don't have any of those. Does the, does the tracing do anything? I would think maybe it would show you. Mm, good question. When to trace, start tracing now. Uh, it's oh. going to give me a log file, but let's not go into it right now. Um, let me double check something. Data sources. Ah, here we go. This is the one that just got installed. 
So it installed it as a 64-bit only, but it is not on my 32-bit, okay? Mm -hmm. So the download that I just got automatically selects for you based on your OS settings, oh. right? So it just did that. Right. And there was no way for me. I didn't see any way for me to actually select anything. Let me see. Oh, right. So oh, it yeah, is the 64-bit. Yeah, even though I downloaded like the both of it, it just selected one for me. That's right. what it did. So if you are sure, I selected the version all, but it just decided, nah, you're going to do whatever I want. But, oh, no, you know what? You know what? It is because I just clicked the first one here. Ah, uh, okay. okay. All right. So you're going to you yeah. download the other one. I would download them both just well, to make sure. That's what I was going to say was yeah. do them both, get them done, because can right. you imagine like a year later and then you're like, why doesn't this work? And then you got to figure yeah. all this out again. You're here. Right, right. So get it done. I will yeah. just uh, get, get them all. Let me change the path to it. Okay. Next, we install it. So now, and the reason why I noticed that it was not good, it was because I already know what I was looking for. So here, now we have the MySQL or this BC connector now on the 32 bit version as well. So it should be on both. And again, if I want to know the connector for it, I go to file, add, search for the one that I'm looking for, which would be the Unicode, advanced, and this is the way how I would refer to it inside my program when I'm trying to do the connections. So that's what is going on. Um, and now let's oh, go ahead and test right. it. Wait, is it still open? I'm sorry. I, I was curious, I had one question on that screen, because it looked like you could slide to the right a little when you're on that, on not on that one. Go back to the, the drivers. No, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel drivers yeah uh -huh. can you scroll to the right at all oh so there's a date so that's what i was gonna say was does it yes. actually have all right yeah it has a date of when it was installed so in this case i would even though that date looks or not like, yeah it's really interesting okay all right yeah. whatever oh well maybe maybe it's the date when when that file that was, was actually yeah. you know when they created the driver so it's not when i installed it's unfortunate it. yeah it would have been <laughs> so yeah. nice of like look i just added yeah, it. i just added it yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. that's not it now, in any case, now that I know that it's installed, my program should not give me that error message any longer. So if I go ahead and load, before that breakpoint, I was actually getting an error. Yeah. So I know that it is working now because this part here was the one that was calling right. that. So in this case, I know that uh, it's good. I do not have to continue with the program, but that actually fixes the issue automatically. And then... Is there a way you can scroll out or like show that connection point? Uh, the, yes. the, the connection string, I should say. The link. Yes. Yes. So, so if we go to the link in here, we are creating a, a, an object yeah. that grabs that. And that is the connection driver information that we add to it. There's a few parts to it. There's the driver, right. server information, and so on. But basically, that's the part that you would take off of this screen. Right. When we select provide it, the other information add, about the database. Yeah. Right. So everything else, you have to search for it by yourself. You know what you're doing if you're dealing with databases. Right. Well, and, <laughs> well, and to clarify, you know, there's the MySQL database, which is great if you're going to be using something on your computer and you're the only person connecting or it's only being connected to by one thing at a time. Then if you have something more advanced where you have possibly multiple people connecting to it or whatever, that's where you want to use like a MySQL approach because it has a built-in queuing, uh, but it's in the cloud usually, right, exactly. you know, on a server, um, and that this is when you'd use the MySQL approach. Exactly. There you go. So I think that would cover the whole thing of how to fix that error and kind of like cl clarify, yeah. make it summarized of what we are doing in that. Awesome, man. Thanks.